What the hell? You know, when I made the video for I Want to Hug That Gator, I was anticipating for it to hit its target audience, and mainly just that. I didn't expect it to take off to the levels that I see it now. These views may be small time in the grand scheme of things on YouTube, but for a guy like me who just uploads videos whenever I feel like it, with no grand ambitions of making it big on YouTube, this meant the world to me. I really appreciate it, guys. You have no idea. But enough of that sappy stuff. You guys came here to see a video about the QT pterodactyl, so let's get right to that, yeah? Once again, I find myself on the precipice of a game that will potentially break me into a million pieces. Considering this is the parody game, I don't know if I'll be as emotionally invested, but I've heard so many good things about it, so I'd like to be wrong. Also, I see that the reoccurring trend of making absolute banger main menu themes never escaped them, even back then, so that's a start. I actually completely forgot that there was a lewd images filter in the options. You know what? I'm not a fucking coward. Why not? January 6th, year 201M 2020 BC. I am never gonna get used to these fucking dates. You'll probably see me as some kind of circus attraction and nothing more. Ha! I'm the freak show among this cereal box mascot crowd. Talk about wanting to stand out. I never thought it was possible to look like you were from a black and white 20s cartoon. She does differ from the other Technicolor students, though. There's the snoot. That is indeed a snoot of considerable length. I just want to, like, grab it. Like how you grab your dog, like, on the nose. Thank God for jeans. I groan. Oh my god. I can't endure these kind of smiles every single time I play one of these fucking games. The absolute last thing I want to be doing is asking for handouts. Actually, I... Naomi grabs my hand and... Ah! Alert! Alert! DEFCON LEVEL 1! DEFCON LEVEL 1! FEMALE MAKING PHYSICAL CONTACT! She already has a boyfriend, doesn't she? Wait! She already has a boyfriend. I am safe. <laughs> this dude needs to get out more and stop shitposting all the time. The artificial ring of a bell blares from a speaker on the wall. With it, everyone waits as the teacher finally enters the room and shuts the door. What? What the fuck? I hate that I can kind of read some of this. Oh my god, it's just getting worse. I don't really have any hobbies. I wanted to flee. Hide away. Anything to avoid those judging eyes. This dude's got a trauma. And I'm all for figuring out what it is. I cursed life for a third time today. The dreaded 10 minute mark has passed, rendering my pizza only useful as building material. <laughs> Vegan TLT. Nasser's just here like, oh god, anything but the tofu. He <laughs> tears the sandwich in two and hand me the larger half. Oh come on, don't make me feel guilty like that. A caveman of a man holds open the door for everyone. Oh boy. His massive hand stops me. I'm guided to the side, away from the crowd that's filtering into the auditorium. Jesus Christ! God, Primal was so good, man. I'm so happy now. The band doesn't bother introducing themselves. Instead, the purple one begins plucking her bass. What I thought was a guitar sounded horrifically wrong. Far too heavy. The lead guitarist was using a fucking bass. And then the vocals kicked in. Its horrific screeching, combined with the melodious shredding on a bass, created a cacophony equal to hundreds of cats ritualistically sacrificed. I fight the urge to cover my ears. I don't know too much about music, but even I know that you don't use two basses in one band unless you know exactly what you're doing. Oh my god, it's just getting worse. I look back to the crowd to gauge their interest. Surely I'm not alone in thinking this is an absolute travesty. 
worst thing to happen in Cytosaurus since their extinction. Time for another extinction event! <laughs> His hand lands on my shoulder. Its grip was firm as it weighed on me. You know, I don't have a lot of knowledge about this game at all outside of the fact that it's a parody game for Goodbye Volcano High. But the one thing that I have seen in very limited context are those quotes. I don't know what they're about, but knowing they came from Spears of all people is one of the coolest fucking things I think this game could have really went with. The lingering chatter in the room dies out as the teacher stands from his desk, moving to the front of the room. Dr. Fernsworth. Yeah, what she said. Why is Dr. Fernsworth making that face? Oh, fuck, I just realized. I completely forgot about the whole non-binary thing. Oh, Raptor, Jesus almighty, this is the absolute worst case scenario. The infuriated pterodactyl's wings spread wide and her talon finger jabs my chest. How was I supposed to know something so trivial would set something like this off? It feels like the world just stopped. All eyes are on Fang. And in Fang's eyes I see something flash briefly. Judging by those exaggerated movements and the eloquent speech, this is something Fane has been practicing. This was supposed to be a big moment where she stopped an evil bigot and the whole class would clap. In all her planning and practice, Fang had made one crucial error. Nobody cared. You know what I liked about all that? There was that chance that it was just going to be treated as a joke. But there's a very serious underlying tone under all of that. He told me about what happened the other day. Sorry to hear something like that happen to you and your band. I... Dunno. Suddenly my shoes seem more interesting than the conversation at hand. Just think it's messed up people would go to a show just to laugh at you. Smile acquired! We are already on our way! I'm barely keeping myself awake while Mr. Carlos Sadusky is giving a lecture on the inverse of tangents. <laughs> Fuck. I don't remember the last time I ever watched Aqua Teen, but it's literally just Carl. My absolute favorite epitome of the state of New Jersey. Wait. Oh. You mean Fang? This is the most obnoxious thing I've ever experienced in my life. Am I gonna have to tolerate humiliation from these meteor dodgers too? I'm a non, and I'm a human. I got here Monday. That's all. Is that any of your fucking business, to be honest? I just wanted to solve math problems. I, uh, yes, ma'am. Once again, she's just glaring at me. You know, I get the distinct feeling I am not going to like Trish whatsoever throughout this entire fucking game. Fucking x rocks again. Patchy Station has a better lineup overall. You can't prove that. Huh? What is this? My innate curiosity is getting the better of me. <laughs> it fucking links to Goodbye Volcano Eyes reveal trailer! That's fucking evil! That is so fucking evil! What a fucking song title. Don't say A Lamau. <laughs> I just realized that their band name is two V's rather than an actual W.
That's so pretentious, I love it. Even I raise my hands along with Reed and Fang. Skinny? <laughs> this is gonna be a great game. It's gonna be a great game. Er, yeah. See, I have to go return a, a book. Fucking Hellmouth, don't go slipping weep talk now. See, it's way overdue and I cannot afford the late fee. I almost didn't recognize Reed's voice. He said that way too sharply. He sounds completely lucid and didn't slur any words. Oh no. Shut it down! Shut it down! The pink cubo nose! <laughs> Burglar joined my threesome. Don't think about a threesome with Trish and Fang. Don't think about a threesome with Trish and Fang. They're meteor dodgers for crying out loud. Okay, just for one second. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Wait a minute! What the fuck? Oh my god! You! <laughs> I know I said that I was- I wasn't a coward, but clearly I wasn't ready. Okay, now I'm prepared. Alright, I just want to say something real quick before I continue this scene. I've been enjoying this game a lot so far. It's got that same vibe as Wani, but, you know, told differently. And I would say it's got just as much charm as its spiritual successor. But honestly, I just have one thing I kind of want to admit right now. And this is all subject to change. I'm expecting the game to make me change my mind about it with Fang. So far, they're a great written character. I like that. They're probably going to get better as the chapters roll on. Again, I'm anticipating that. But if I have to be 100% honest, I don't get it. I, I kind of don't. I'm really, really hoping the game is going to slap me over the fucking head and make me feel really bad about saying that. She turns away to hide her Snickers. I'm into... Okay, well... Anime openings and video game OSTs. I mean, I guess the closest thing for me out of all of these... I like some good video game music, but... I guess the closest thing would just be Boomer Rock. Fang holds a hand up to her beak. I flash her my biggest shit-eating grin. At least I don't need a license to listen to it. The two of us banter with each other with increasingly strong British accents all the way to class. Aww, they're bonding. There's a ringing in my ears and I try to blink the vines and stars away. Now you fucked up! You know, despite the whole caricature of Rosa, she's great. If you think so little of Rosa and Stella and everyone, why hang out with them? <laughs> yeah, those guys sucked. Their insults weren't even that creative. Fang's arm jerks back violently, pulling a bundle of weeds and topsoil out and onto my jacket. Oh, brother, what have you gotten yourself into? Her voice is low. Accusatory. My heart stops. There it is. I couldn't have hoped to hide it forever. Fang stands over me, her wings spread wide and her shoulders shaking. I... How do I explain this? We're close enough friends now, right? I could probably even joke about it a bit. Yeah, I, I don't think a joke is actually gonna work right here, so let's just bear the brunt of it. Did this bitch just quote Naruto of all things? Fang, what are you doing? STOP KICKING THE CAR! Fang stops kicking the glass, drained of energy and out of breath. 
Thankfully, the glass isn't even scratched. You're right for being angry at me. You're talented and skilled and I got nothing to show for myself, and what I did was wrong. But you're better than this. Come on. All of a sudden I feel like I shouldn't be here. We freeze. <laughs> get out of there, get out of there, get the fuck out of Dodge! Her sneer returns and she makes to turn away. I fucked up. Yes, I was at that concert. And yes, I laughed. I never expected to actually become your friend. Her wings block my view of her. But she hasn't left yet. Maybe I can fix this after all. Doesn't seem like I did much at all. A keening whine rumbles from my mouth. Can't I just take the beating instead? Please? <laughs> I'd prefer the shovel. Aim right here and do not resuscitate me after. <laughs> the rest of lunch passes by without incident and I'm left savoring Rose's delicious cooking. Like they say, the first rule of Mexican food, the more it looks like raw sewage, the better it tastes. I think the second rule is uh, if they serve your drinks in those old Coca-Cola cups, you know that shit's gonna be great. Look, I said I was sorry, okay? I laughed at you guys and ruined your concert. I don't care if you never want to talk to me again. I just don't know what else you want me to say. What? It's not? A dork like me has every right to call out Stella. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> this is gonna be fucking great! I tumble backwards. Off of the stage. Whoa. Ow. Shut the fuck up, Reed! Done? With the projector? Not with that attitude. <laughs> Just throws an orange slice at me. God damn, this is nice. I sit down next to her and look out at Volcadera Bluff. It's a beautiful view. It's a distraction. Her hand curls into a fist. Her nails bite into her palm, and I can clearly see the minute trickle of blood. Her fist crashes down on the floor. Fang deflates completely. All her anger gone, replaced with melancholy. God, now I'm starting to feel bad. She picks her head up. Rivulets of tears and orange eyeliner run down her cheeks and leave bright stains on her knees. <laughs> Fang grips my jacket with both hands, digging in. Ah, oh, God, not again. Staying quiet has probably been one of the hardest goddamn things I've had to do in both of these visual novels. This one hurts.
She's shaking my arm around. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. All I know is I'm me. I struggle to find the right words. Fang stares pleadingly. Eventually she buries her eyes in my jacket arm. It's like... I don't know. You're trying to be something you're not. It needs to happen naturally. Feng looks up from my arm. If you're forcing this, whatever, then it's like some misplaced idea or like a refusal to leave the comfort zone. What I'm trying to say is, I ended up trying to be someone else too. To the point that I rejected who I really was and started to fuck myself up. I'm not about making others notice me or about being great at something. I just do what makes me, well, me. I'm the only me here, and I think it's safe to assume that there's several of you. Like, you don't know. You said it yourself. Her fingers tighten around my arm. I'm not certain she's breathing right now. And there's tons of different people going through what you are right now, trying to force their egos, only to reject who they really are. Not to undermine your feelings or anything. And at the end of it all, I've accepted that I am, and will always be, me. You see? Fang's grip loosens. Fang's eyes grow wet again. <sighs> Fuck. Turning to Fang, I crouch a bit and extend my hand to her. She moves her bloody hand to take it, but hesitates. She softly grasps my hand. Oh, this fucking game is getting me just like Wani did. I'm careful to hoist her to her feet, mindful of her injured palm. Oh shit! <laughs> but her beak accidentally bumps into my cheek on her way up. <laughs> so that's how dinos kiss. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> oh no, run for your lives. Oh my god, what the fuck? Bullshit mode activate. I got lost looking for the bathroom? Spears incinerates me on the spot. season for a brief instant I pictured Fang in a bikini <laughs> it did it again it fucking did it again I was prepared for it this time though hot <laughs> fucking game I reduced myself to Hoover flags all I had on me was my phone and a ratty wallet held together with hot glue and duct tape Fang does the same, dropping her own phone, a spare guitar pick, and an unopened pack of cigarettes. Spears looks at Fang dead in the eyes, rips the package open, and stuffs every cigarette in his mouth at once. To our mortified stares, he chews them until they are a brown glob and spits it over the fence, landing on a rather oriental-looking car. Takes your entire pack of cigarettes, chews them up, spits them off the edge of the roof, refuses to elaborate, leaves. She looks a mess. I think I get it now. Holy fuck, that smile. It's fucking game, bro. How, how the actual fuck did fucking 4chan manage to catch lightning in a bottle twice? He crushes the bottle in one hand and tosses it into a trash can five yards away. Then looks to us with the smuggest grin to ever be seen on a beak. Oh my god, she's been doing this forever. This entire time she's been pushing me closer to Fang. I must be the biggest fucking idiot. She played me like a goddamn fiddle! It doesn't matter if my feelings are being used. They're still real to me. 
and I want to actually help her. Right now that means helping her find a venue. Even if it means being around the coral cunt. He's got so many ways of insulting Naomi, I'm surprised he hasn't run out yet. 13% of public restrooms! Stop right there! Two can play this game, you citrine psycho. I look at Naomi and give her a subtle nod. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the eyes. That's fucking rude. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely get it now. <laughs> I love Mo. I don't know what it is about this character. You know, it is wild to me that this game has got not one, but two characters that are pretty much nudging me to make sure I do the right thing. And it's just genuinely decent advice, too. Actually, we really don't. Fang freezes in place. Your uncle. Yeah, he seemed pretty excited about it. He's got a stage ready and everything. Fang still isn't moving. Did I do something wrong? It's a blur of motion. Oh boy, there we go! I just want to take a picture of this and put it on my wall. Yeah, we're at Dynamo's place in Little Trudon. <laughs> NASCAR. I'm going to punch him. The applause turns to cheers, and the cheers turns to uproar. The crowd was cheering. Actually cheering this time. Aw, they deserved this. Before I could react, I was swept up in a blur of feathers. <laughs> it's so great every time this happens! The Tyrannosaur stomps over to us from the kitchen. <laughs> She's just all feathers now. <laughs> hmm? Oh boy. Fang's grip loosens on my arm, leaving her hand to rest on my forearm. Oh boy, here we go. It's okay, Anon. You're just going to Fang's house. Alone. Just the two of us. <laughs> Bill Withers, shut the fuck up, holy fuck. Fang clips on the lights and I'm not quite sure what I expected. Okay, hold on. How the fuck are you going to insult my taste in Boomer Rock when you like the exact same thing? You was shock. It's amazing. Still one of the coolest love songs I think I've ever heard. I love Fist of the North Star so much. I plant my hands in my pockets nonchalantly, looking around for a chair or something. Wow, not even a beanbag chair? I don't think I could handle another beanbag chair moment. I'm torn between wanting to impress the QT pterodactyl and Spears, one of the coolest principles I have ever known. Fuck it, we ball. She's standing right behind me. <laughs> She's standing right the fuck behind me! Her tail slaps a simple beat on her mattress as she slowly builds up a rhythm in her strumming. Her head bobs along, wings relaxing as the guitar's tone starts picking up. The crescendo crossing the strings reshaped the music. The transformation into a weightier rock piece was seamless. More than just fingers and a pick, it was as if Fang put her entire life's effort into this. Thinking back, she must have made countless songs like this. Most of them never heard by anyone and left forgotten. As Fang poured her very being into that instrument in her hands, it dawned on me what this was. Musical notes that bore the weight of words she couldn't define. All of which sounded beautiful, melting together into a harsh yet intoxicating piece of dissonant serenity. Fang sat there, looking down at her guitar, realizing she showed me something she had never shown anyone before. 
Fang bit back tears, biting the sob that threatened to spill from her. Instinct pushes me to my feet, carrying me forward to the vulnerable girl sat on plush duvets. All that matters is her. The part of me that felt scared at that thought, that wanted to remain isolated in my comfort zone, that wanted to pretend that no one else mattered. That part was ejected. Forcibly. The song was amazing, Fang. It truly was. Because it was her. Her heart and soul were carried within it. Her very being. My heartfelt words reached her. The dam burst. <sighs> this damn scene, dude. Instead of band practice, we've been making use of that repaired projector. Watching shitty movies and playing games on Reed's x rocks The Mandarin Manchurian rips me away from my monologue. How many insults does he have for her? Holy crap! The Chiffon Tsarina brings a wireless microphone to her snout. It just keeps going! It's like a never-ending well of insults! She begins reciting a well-rehearsed speech in her usual snooty <laughs> manner. A. There's some scientists and engineers holding hands. There's a Triceratops holding onto a branch with a text, Hang in there, baby. There's me two years ago when I photoshopped myself with an anime girl. More pictures. So many more pictures. Each one more and more embarrassing than the last. Oh, you fucking whore! I set up the only successful show you ever played. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Look, I've been dunking on Trish the entire time so far, but real talk, she's probably one of the best written characters in this entire game because I genuinely dislike her. I'm sorry for being a poor friend to you, but after what you did, I don't know if I can forgive that. Spears nods in approval, a fatherly grin stretching his cheeks. Getting to roast Trish is great, absolutely worth it, but getting Spears to smile in approval, that's the best part about this whole scene, man. Right before I clamp my hand on the doorknob, Spears speaks up. Uh-oh. <laughs> your wife was trash and your taste and shit! Share some quality anime. <laughs> I eventually get finished examining my wicked wounds and step out of the bathroom. I can make out a steady thumping on my bed. My senses fade more until all I'm aware of is Fang's fingers tracing circles over my sore back and the sound of thumping. I wonder what that is. There's something in her voice, but I can't discern it. Hmm? Oh boy. Oh. I roll over onto my back. Oh, fuck. Like this? Okay. The mood is tender. Why not? I wonder. I hope. Do you like me, Fang? I'm pulled out of my thoughts by her voice, and her tail is positively hammering away at my bed. Wait. Oh, fuck. Did I... I, um, was that, did I say? I groan aloud, so the entire time. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Look at her little smile. Cuddling works. That's fine. That's equally as cute. Why are you so surprised? I told you months ago I liked her, didn't I? Why does the background music sound like I'm about to get into a final boss fight with Nasser? Nasser keeps fluctuating between the nicest guy you know and I'm going to kick your fucking ass. I... Uh, yeah. Thank you, Nasser. Uh, where are we going? You're gonna need supplies for your girlfriend? What? A giant bag of dino nuggies. <laughs> they written on it with a sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> Counts the nuggies. 
I get a questioning look from Fang as I take one of the grocery bags from Nasser. Her eyes instantly lock onto the hefty bag of dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets I take out. I turn back to Fang, who's currently writing her name on the bag of tenders. Fang, you can't hog... <laughs> Did you just hiss at me? <laughs> Somebody get Fang a Happy Meal. We ended up watching Top Spear until midnight while Fang hogged her bag of nuggies. Speaking of Top Spear, when I uploaded the Wani video, one of my friends on Discord watched it. And at one point he said my wheezing laugh sounded like James May's laugh from Top Gear. And I don't think I've been able to recover since. Fang and I have been together for a month now. This game is moving so fast. Phase one complete. She's too distracted to check the box in my hand. Want to play the Pocky game? Well, I hold one of these. I take one of the green sugary sticks from the box and hold the plain end by my teeth. Oh god, I know of this. You know what? Fuck it. I've got some pretzel sticks in the snack cabinet. I'm just gonna commit to the bit. Queen of Chief, didn't you have to take it with your lips? And try to bite as much as you can without touching my face. <laughs> the things that I do for these games. It's just chocolate. <laughs> she moves in and crunches down on the pocky six centimeters from my face. Jackpot. Let's just say Stella gets all sorts of weird snacks from Japan. Like wasabi pocky sticks. <laughs> oh man, not another prom. <laughs> I love, I love Spears, man. These taste so great. Oh yeah, Fang and I are fine. I was just helping them with a few problems. Whew, remembered it this time. Look, I just want to say real fast, I liked Inko. Inko was great. I liked his character motivation. I liked the struggle he had with his parents, his desire to be a better photographer. He was a great written character. But Anon is just better. It's not like a big difference between the two of them. I just think Anon's got better character development. All right, look here, you they, them thought. You guys may have been together for a month now, but I'm not just gonna sit here and let you insult my boy like that, especially not from somebody whose beak is bigger than the rest of their face. You look like a prehistoric dolphin that just discovered a hot topic for the first time. Why do you have feathers on your elbows anyway? Oh, that's progress. Now I just feel bad for saying all of that shit. The blush becomes contagious and I find myself looking back at the worksheet. This whole scene is contagious, man. There's character development going through the roof. This is so nice. So, so nice. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this is the most adorable shit I've ever seen. Sea turtles it is. I take Fang's hand and lead her through the lobby into the chamber labeled Sea Turtle Conservatory. have gone this far in the game without turning into a goblin and it just takes one singular expression and I just break down oh god she's just so precious dude all right here I am going off without you oh look a Dumbo octopus in a snap fangs move from pressing her face against the turtle tank to pressing it against the octopus tank <laughs> I will protect her. I will protect her until the day I die. Look, <laughs> Look at her go. She's just having the time of her life. Just as I was about to resign myself to premature blindness from the camera flash, my savior arrives. Fang leans over the railing of the staircase. What the hell? What is it with these guys making these characters look so good in a dress? Like, fuck! She's just so fucking pretty, dude. Now would be a good time to mention I can't dance in any capacity, not just slow dancing. 
I can't just stand here like a spur. I need to think of something fast. When in doubt, improvise. I bob my knees to the fast rhythm of the music. And my hands mimic the reload animations from various first person shooters I've actually played. I love that I know this post. It's so great. Sure. I see. Thanks. Principal Spears leans over and places one of his gargantuan hands on my shoulder. Aww. <laughs> Why did they have to make Spears the second best character in this entire game? She scans the room, a nervous look creeping onto her face. Hey, you tell him, Trish. I start waving my arms in the air, trying to catch Fang's attention. She takes a deep breath and starts strumming the first notes of her song. It took half a year, but she finally completed the song from the roof. Thinking back over all the practice sessions, Fang fretted over what exactly she would play. Turns out, a rock ballad fit perfectly, both as a final song for prom and as a summation of Fang. The lyrics we composed together were a mix of her, admittedly, overly flowery and edgy poetry from her wall and my own shitposting. Surprisingly, it mixed well. Satisfied that Fang will enjoy seeing the picture, I began pushing and squeezing my way towards the front of the crowd. Aww. The guitar echoes for several seconds before applause begins to fill the air. Cheers that I didn't initiate this time. I begin to join in, but take notice of Fang's utterly stiff posture. Eyes wide, wings pressed against her back, legs locked like a statue. She looks like she's about to faint from shock. I realize I have an opportunity here and stone the fuck up. God damn it, I'm going to take it. I can see the embarrassed mirth playing across her beautiful eyes. Yes! Oh man, oh man, that's fucking worth it. Oh fuck. <laughs> I absolutely love these games, man, making me all happy and emotional and shit. I, the broke fuck that I am, was put in charge of the fire and finding a good pit for it. Jesus Christ. I wonder if I can sue him for hate speech. <laughs> Soon enough, the pizza and booze are passed out and we're all sitting in the sand around the blazing fire and the weekly top 40 list playing on the speakers. Everyone is conversating amongst themselves. I absolutely love the feeling you get when you know it's the happy ending. Is he wearing fucking Yeezys? I hate everything about this, I'm sorry. Something of a gardener. Shut up, Reed! The yearbook makes its way around the fire, each of us leaving some meaningful message on its inside covers. I'm the last to receive the book, and I look at what each of our friends wrote. I keep forgetting her name is Lucy. So close to kneecapping her with his book. Fucking Sailor Moon. Six months later. Oh no, it's gonna get really cute. <laughs> Alright, cuddles it is. She squeals when I roll us onto our side, bringing us face to face. I can feel my own face glow as warm as hers, but I also have the same smile as her too. About what? Hmm, gonna need to be more specific. Oh, you mean this? I kiss her snoot again. <laughs> I chuckle again. I made you say it. <laughs> I kiss the snoot one final time and get another elbow as my reward. <laughs> oh no! Stop being adorable! This game has been too good to me. Another smile. Properly protected. Fuck yeah, dude.
I wish moments like these could last forever. I keep saying the same thing. He extends the gift towards me and I cautiously accept, beginning to open the wrapping paper. Oh my fucking god, this better not be what I think it is. Inside is a box set of some anime I've never heard of before. Never, ever change, Spears. Five years later? Oh my god, you can't do this to me! I keep thinking this is about to end and it's just gonna keep going! Oh my god, he's built like a brick shithouse! And look at this goddamn jawline! What the fuck? She goes up on stage and tests the microphone, getting everyone's attention. <laughs> so... just the two of us. <laughs> Fucking Bill Weathers. Ah! <laughs> That was so sweet! Oh, this was fan-fucking-tastic. Never in my wildest dreams would I have anticipated this game to be just as good as Wani. Oh, shit, that was great. You have unlocked new bonus chapters, complete unseen endings to see more. Oh, fuck me. Getting ending four again on my first run tells me two things. One, I'm not as socially inept as I think I am. Either that or I'm much better at reading the game than I give myself credit for. That's such a great feeling to have, knowing that you did everything right blind. On the other hand, it tells me I fucking love hurting myself. Because you know damn well I'm going to have to do the other endings now. Alright, let's get this over with. I'm ready to go back on Snoot Game's wild ride. Jesus Christ. You know what I really like about Cavemen? Even their depressing endings are so well written that I can't help but watch them. I feel like I'm going to need a beer or something for everything that's about to happen next. Fuck, if this game's ending too, is that depressing? I don't know what the hell ending one's gonna be like. I'm fucking scared, guys. I hate this stupid fucking game. I don't even have anything to fucking say about all that. I, um... Yeah, no. I'm going to bed. I gave it a lot of thought. I want to hug that Gators ending one was bad, and it made me feel bad. Snoot Games ending one made me want to die. It's honestly a little tricky to sober myself up and steal myself for one more playthrough and then look at the bonus chapters and all that, because how, how do you fucking continue after that? Okay, I just need to, like, relax for a second before I do this one more time. I'm sure I'm gonna get out of this funk once I, you know, go through it. Still, though, that smile is going to fucking haunt me. Come on, motherfucker! Throws the trigger! Let's go shoot me! Let's go shoot me! Shoot me! You know, it's the wildest thing. I'm starting to feel better again. I I hate getting to a low point like that over a fucking video game, but, you know, that's just the power of really good writing. And just like that, I'm feeling things again. Doesn't hurt that much. Only my other wrist. And knee. Ah. Oh. Damn it! 
How can this game keep fluctuating between being the most adorable fucking thing and some of the most traumatizing? Dude, Rosa's a treasure. I'm glad this route gives her more time to shine because she's just great. Oh my god. Oh my god, it actually changes her name too. Oh, it's the little things. I love stuff like this. And just like that, I am cured of my earlier depression. Oh, this game is a literal roller coaster of emotion, and I can't get off. No way, you have your own. Wait. Holy fuck, this is from Team Fabulous, too. All I want to do is bring her closer to me. I want to keep picking apart her brain, become acquainted with every single corner of her mind, and still realize there's always something more to her. I love you, Lucy. So very, very much. Oh, man, this one's also kind of rough. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck. What is with these ending threes and getting me to tear up? What the fuck? That one was sweet though, but I also feel a little bad. It really sucks having her be so dependent on him that she pretty much gave up everything else. I'm a sucker for bittersweet endings, honestly, so that worked out perfectly. That was so nice. I needed that so much. You know, going through all of those endings was definitely worth it for these bonus chapters. It's definitely been nice to uh, end on a high note. I've still got one more to go after this one, though, so I can't wait to see where it goes. Wait. Sweetie, what's... Aw. Thanks, Rainbow. Good job. Can always count on you. No fucking way. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it was all worth it again. I can't believe it. Oh my fucking god, I just realized. The dialogue option I picked in Wani when Inko's having his purple drank moment. I picked it as a joke because it just sounded funny. And it was a reference to this. This game was fantastic. I'm sad it's over. All the high points and all the low points. It was all worth it for this image. God damn it, they got me again. I can't wait to play whatever they come up with next. I'm all in at this point. It does make me realize though, um, what, uh, what, what do I play now? <laughs> These guys have spoiled me so badly that it's going to be a little hard for me to play anything else, but God damn it, I'm going to try. There's a lot of visual novels out there that people have recommended to me in the last couple of days, and, uh, I might consider trying them out. Well, that's Snoot Game. Thanks for watching. <laughs>